what up, what up, what up? This is your man DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live right here on WKTJ Reverence Radio with your man DJ TJ. It is Friday, May the 7th, 2021. I hope y'all ready because I'm ready. And I look forward to this because I have seen a lot this week. And we have a lot of newcomers to our YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like what you hear tonight, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out the channel. We can move forward from that. If you really, really like it at the end of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Followed by that bell icon so you can hear and see all the videos that we post. We're about to get started in a minute, but I just want to give a shout out to all those on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We are doing big things right now. And if you have a chance, make sure you stop by the webpage and pick up some merchandise. We're doing big things over there too. We're trying to get everything in motion. Our first, I'm sorry, our first reference magazine of the year is this month, the month of May, which is Mother's Day month. Mother's Day is right here on Sunday. And that edition is not quite complete just yet. So I might combine Mother's Day and Father's Day for next month's issue. I haven't decided yet, but we're getting things together with that as well. So, if you count to 10, we can see on your mark, get ready, get set, go. We are ready to go. We've been doing a lot of different things. I hope you guys appreciate that. This is Friday Night Live. I hope you are ready. Because it's going down. It's about to go down. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. This is what is in your news. The FEC's impeccable punt on Trump's hush money payments against Stormy Daniels has come to surface, but they're not making a big stick out of it, y'all. The commission, the commission decided not to press forward with uh, with a case involving the hush money with Stormy Daniels. Uh, I don't know why. I don't say why, but they're not moving forward on that. Everybody knows he gave her hush money. Daniel, Daniel Day Kim said he unnerves some. When boarding a plane, thanks to Lost. He was on Jimmy Kimball last this past Thursday and uh, revealed that he's not the best with flying. And because of an episode of Lost, he is a better flyer. WNBA star Liz Cambage blast Australian Olympic Committee for whitewashing and threatens Tokyo. She doesn't look happy with that, y'all. Shout out to the WNBA. India, India's daily COVID-19 cases rise by a record of 414,188. Yeah, they're going through right now, y'all. So pray for India. Make sure you pray for them. Keep praying for them. I mean, they need it. They need it bad. So, um... Here's how to help India. 
best way you can help India is to pray, but they have other ways of doing that as well. You can donate to support partners in India. India is responding to the country's COVID-19 public health crisis. They're taking donations on many different platforms. Make sure you reach out to the best one for you. Okay, let me see if I can say this right. Mohammed Nasheed Meldives, ex-president in critical condition after a bomb blast. There was a there was an assassination attempt on his life, but he is in critical condition. He lived, y'all. He didn't die. So pray for him as well. Make sure y'all pray for him, all right? All right, we have a fire that destroyed Butts Historic Eminem Cigar Store building. historic place y'all uh, so it's located in Montana if you didn't know that I didn't even know that so it's located in Montana and it's got a historic marker on it so pray for all those involved in that we gonna switch the music up just a little bit cause we just heard that one so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit y'all ready let's go Switch it up again, y'all. Y'all ready? We're gonna switch it up again. Let's go. All right, that's better. I like that vibe a lot better. Okay, here we go. We have someone who is honoring their two moms, which is. Rob McEl Haney and Ryan Reynolds partner with Glad for a heartwarming Mother's Day message. Shout out to Glad. Shout out to Rob, Rob McEthany and Ryan Reynolds for doing something for their mother. Hi, Mom. Okay, one, two. Pat's fan puts priceless piece of Brady memorabilia up for auction. A Pat's fan who was in the night place, right place at the right time back in 2001 is about to make a whole lot of money. He got a football from Tom Brady's first NFL touchdown pass. And he's putting it up for auction, y'all. It's going to go for millions. Trust me. They weren't kidding when they said that was priceless. It really is. I don't see how I could ever part ways with that. That's worth so much money. All right, UFC on ESPN 24 video, Ryan Benoit held upright on scale for scary weigh-in. The fight, w- the fight was canceled, y'all. Wow. That's crazy. Our top CDC scientist, Nancy Massner, resigns from post after following recess reassignment. So there's a lot of people that are parting ways here. 
hope I'm not too loud, y'all. I'm trying to make sure y'all can hear me. All right, Senator Lizzie, Lindsey Graham says the GLP can't move forward without Trump. Yes, they can. I, I'm just saying my personal opinion, but I'm sure they can. <laughs> Well, he says they can't, so I don't want to know how much that's going to stick to people's ears, but he don't want to do it without them. All oh, Bree Plaza. Mary's longtime boyfriend, Jeff Bayena. Nobody knew about it but her and him because she surprised her fans by saying that he was her husband. Wow. The WHO panel okays emergency use of China's Sinopharm vaccine. I don't know how effective it is, but we're going to find out, huh? Kendall Jenner says her anxiety sometimes makes her feel like her heart is falling. I don't know how that made the news, y'all. Don't ask me. I really don't know how it made the news, but they felt it was necessary for us to know that her anxiety made her feel like her heart was falling. I have anxiety too, but I don't get on the news. I don't never make it to the news. I just don't have that push. But I have anxiety. Do y'all care? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> this is already the craziest run up to any Walker Cup in recent memory. And then both teams got a stomach bug. The 2021 Walker Cup was always going to be a memorable event, but virtue of this hot host venture, the Walker Cup is a golf trophy. So the U.S. Britain and Ireland teams were all hit by a stomach bug at the Walker Cup. I don't know if that was a bug or if that was COVID, but everybody getting hit at the same time. It don't seem like nobody had masks on. I can't tell from this picture, but wow. Okay, so Ohio State Senator was caught driving during a Zoom call as House considered distracted driving bill. I think he was trying to pull a point, y'all. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. So, a group of critically endangered California condors trash a woman's desk. A deck, I should say, deck. A group included 15 to 20 of the massive birds, which amounts to nearly. It's just a bunch of birds, man. 20, at least 20 birds 
well, big old birds, condors are huge, y'all. And uh, she couldn't get rid of them if she wanted to because they're just that big. But they were all over her deck. There's nothing she could do about it. right here y'all this beat right here is perfect for me to say that the Muppets are back the Muppets are back they have a haunted mansion that they are teasing with a trailer and they are coming to Disney Plus this fall that is the haunted mansion the Muppets haunted mansion this fall on Disney Plus y'all Let me just say this is the smooth grooves that you might hear on WKTJ when it comes to jazz. I hope y'all grooving with me right now. The Federal Appeals Court overturns the conviction of a former representative, Corinne Brown. A divided Federal Appeals Court late Thursday overturned the conviction of a former representative, Corinne Brown. She served more than two years in prison, y'all. And she is, uh, she's been found, she was found guilty of running a sham charity. But it was just overturned, so shout out to her and her family. I know she's happy about that. Shout out to the TEC show. Shout out to David. Shout out to meet Kevin and Chalet. And all those other people that have signed up and subscribed with my channel and just enjoying yourself out there and those who leave the comments I love you I read every last one of your comments out there thank you appreciate you don't forget to hit that thumbs up it helps the channel out even more so we can keep on moving and grooving Rome debuts a hot piece of vending machine I wish they had one of those here. There's a lot of vending machines going on right now, especially in China. On every corner, there's a vending machine. They just put out one with a hot pizza. So that's different. They're doing some different things in China, I'll tell you right now. But this one is in Rome. I'm sorry. The pizza machine is in Rome. But China has a lot of them around their country, around towns where you wouldn't expect them to be at the are. All right, Texas GOP's voting restriction bill passes the House, if you can believe that. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Y'all let me know in the comments, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing that they passed the GOP voting restriction bill? It doesn't sound like it's a good thing. Shout out to Instagram, doing big things with Versus this weekend, SWV, I can't remember, is it Escape? I think it's Escape, SWV and Escape are going one-on-one -on -one in the Versus battle this week, so if you're around town, if you'll be able to grab your phone, go on the Versus about 8 o'clock tomorrow on Saturday, May 
8th. That's SWV and Escape. I think that's right. I think that's right. I hope I'm right. <laughs> All right. So, Sony's... Sony's Camilla Cabello is starring in Cinderella. Heads to Amazon Prime bypassing the theaters. Not to stop and, and go to a different topic, but I wonder what happened to the mer- the, new, the Little Mermaid being redone by this black girl who was looking forward to doing it. And it got a big buzz about it and then it just died out and she never did the movie. I wonder what happened, y'all. Let me know in the comments so you know what happened. But that Cinderella story is going to be coming straight to Amazon Prime. It's not going to be in theaters at all. So make sure you go out there and look for that new Cinderella movie. Lake Tahoe had an earthquake, y'all. Had three of them. Strike with 10 minutes. I'm going to say it again. Three earthquakes strike within 10 minutes in Lake Tahoe region. A lot of earthquakes going on, y'all. So make sure you pray it up. It might be about that time, though, so you never know. Just be ready. There's also a missile headed to Earth. We don't know where it's going to land or how much of it is going to be around, but it's coming from a China missile that dropped off some equipment to their space station. It's coming back down to Earth. We don't know where it's going to land at. So be on your P's and Q's at all times, y'all. Alright, now this is a big one, y'all. This is a big one. Jake Paul shares photo of gotcha hat tattoo after Floyd Merriweather Jr. altercation. By the way, they are, uh, Luke Paul and Floyd Mayweather are going to fight real soon. Even though he said he was supposed to be retired, this fool does not want to, excuse me, this man does not want to admit that he does not want to stop fighting. And he's all about the money, y'all. All about the money. But Jake Paul is the brother of Logan Paul, who Mayweather and who Mayweather and Paul uh, is facing real soon. <laughs> I don't see the I don't see the date on here when they're gonna be fighting, but it's, I know it's coming up. All right, keeping it moving. Don't forget to stop by the clothing store, www.churchreadyclothing.com. Get yourself some merch for the kids, for yourself, or for mom this weekend. Make sure you stop by. Sherpa guy scales Mount Everest for record 25th time. His name is Kami Kami Rita. And 11 other Sherps guys reached the summit at about 6 p.m. Hey, Mount Everest ain't no joke, y'all. So that's a, that's a big kudos. Shout out to him.
Australia is set to resume flights to India after they received backlash for banning them from being able to return to their home from wherever they were. Jesse Williams is leaving Grey's Anatomy after 12 seasons. Man, there's a lot of changes going on, y'all. A lot of changes going on. I see you out there dancing, y'all. soldiers were killed. One was wounded in countries east. There's big stuff going on over there with Russia and Ukraine right now. Shout out to the 85 South Show for having Travis Porter on. If y'all don't know, Travis Porter is not just one person, it's three people. Why am I telling you? Because I didn't even know that. So, the more you know, right? The more you know. Right. Overwhelming majority of California's Asian Americans fear physical violence. They have been getting a lot of threats and hatred lately. And just recently, President Biden has signed into law a hate crime against Asians. So y'all behave yourself, man. Leave these Asians alone. They ain't bother nobody. I don't even like calling them Asians. Leave these Americans alone, because that's what they are. It's regular people like you and me. All right, just a little bit more jazz for y'all. Japan extends coronavirus emergency measures. Prime Minister Yoshishi Suga of Japan announced on Friday that he was extending the state emergency for COVID-19 just to be on the safe side. There has been a petition to cancel the Tokyo Olympics which has gotten over 240,000 signatures in two days as Japan gets ready to have the Olympics this summer. I personally don't think they should have it myself, but that's not for me to say, and that's on them. If they think they're safe enough to do it, they should do it, because they didn't have it last year. So, shout out to those in the Olympics from the United States. Job growth, job growth, job growth has slowed in April. They muddled the expectations of a million jobs to gain. They only reached 266,000, which fell short of the estimations. They wanted the April jobs report to be a big, big deal as they get ready to extend and shorten a lot of these restrictions as Florida opens up fully and restricts anyone who 
has a problem not wearing a mask, he takes that away. And just over the past couple of days, I think it was a Monday, if I'm not mistaken, there was a new roller coaster that opened up at Universal Studios by the way of Velocicoaster. And that is at the Universal Studios in Florida. A lot of people, a lot of people were on YouTube posting videos of being there, and there was even some POVs. Go check it out, y'all. The Hartford, the Hartford Hawks, are a basketball team in the NCAA. They are dropping from Division One to Division Three. I don't see the reason why, but they just decided to switch to Division 3. Norwegian, Norwegian, Norwegian threatens to pull cruise ships from Florida over the Saintis vaccine passport ban. There's a lot of bans out here for vaccine passports. These countries don't know whether they're coming or going. They don't know what to do with these passport bans. And we're almost done, y'all. Hope you're sticking in there with me. I appreciate your time. Shout out to all those on Instagram. You'll be seeing a lot more of me on Instagram and on Twitter. I still got love for Facebook, but not as much as I used to. But you can still catch our merchandise as well on Facebook. And even on Instagram. I am a definite stranger to Twitter, but we are going to get better acquainted, all right? Thank you for hanging out with your man, DJ TJ. We're going to keep it going. There has been a date set for Andrew Brown Jr.'s family to see limited footage of fatal shooting after judges ruling I think they finally released the other camera footage from that day because they were claiming that there was only 20 seconds they were allowed to see and the ruling that was given was they're only allowed to see only 20 minutes of the two hour video that was available but they weren't allowed to see the whole entire thing so I think the I think that's what they wanted to see a little bit more than what they saw the first time around come on let's go Shout out to all my listeners out there on Anchor. If you're on Apple Podcast or Spotify or iHeartRadio and a bunch of other ones that I know I missed. Shout out to y'all. I know I've been away for a while, but I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, Ohio GOP censures Representative Anthony Gonzalez over Trump impeachment vote. Cause for his resignation.
right. Chicago announces Broadway return. The musical is reopening in September. Set stage for revival. 25th anniversary. Shout out to Wheelchair Man who was on 85 South Show this week. All right, California's population has fallen in first ever yearly decline. Between 2020 and 2021, they have fallen significantly in population. SpaceX might try to fly the first Starship prototype to successfully land a second time. Dinosaurs had remarkably good hearing and night vision. Can you guys imagine that An owl like dinosaur called a shoe? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Vice President Harris urges cooperation to stem the tide of migrants in meeting with Mexico Lopez Obrador. She met with him by video. to help cooperate and stem the problem we have with migrants right now. Palestinians. Palestinians, Israel police clash at El Aska Mosque where 53 people were hurt. They going through it over there, y'all. They trying to bring our people home. But there's a lot of people that don't want that to happen. I mean, a lot of people. Mostly the Palestinians. Here's a review that calls the Auschwitz fun for the family. Joked about using gas chamber removed by trip advisor. Anybody knows the Germans were big about the gas chamber back in the day when Hitler was around. That ain't nothing funny, man. That ain't cool at all. That's just like saying... A, a joke about slaves over here, man. That ain't funny. That's just my personal opinion. I don't, I don't joke like that. That's not funny. It affects a lot of people's families and generations. You don't joke about stuff like that. You usually don't, bro. No, people try to find humor in everything, though. I mean, wow. The EU leaders attend the summit in person for the first time this year.
They met in Portugal, y'all. They met in Portugal this time. And this this would signal that they see the threat of the COVID-19 virus not as a big deal as it used to be. Well, guess what? People are still dying. Ohio. Ohio becomes the latest state to propose transgender sports ban. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. If you live in Ohio, how you feel about that? Let me know. All right, the Amazon, the Amazon, the Amazon. Brazil's Amazon deforestation surged in April after pledges. That's a big deal in Brazil because of the Amazon and the trees and everything are not lasting as long as they used to. There's a lot of fires going on out there, y'all, and they think they're doing it on purpose. This is me, but what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Right, we have Bobby Valentin that's running for Stanford mayor. He is the Mets manager, the former Mets manager. Mysterious dark deposit suggests that Mars's vax volcanoes still could be active. Could still be active, I should say. Wow. UNLV, UNLV, UNLV. Medical school mints first graduates. Some staying put. Thirty-six percent of the graduates are staying in Nevada for the residency. That's very impressive, man. I always wanted to go to medical school, but I didn't have the balls to stick around for that many years. Shout out to all those who went through medical school and lasted. You made it. Shout out to my friend Michelle who actually went to medical school and nobody knew she was going to do that. But that's all I got for today, y'all. We made it. We made it. We made it. It is the weekend. I hope y'all vibing with me out there. Let me know in the comments how your weather is right now because right now we're going up and down with sunshine and rain. And our nights are really bitterly cold. It is Michigan, of course, but... Everybody knows that May showers bring May showers, but April showers should be May flowers. Where's the flowers, y'all? Where's the flowers, y'all? All right, I done talked your ear off. I done let this music playing in your ear for long enough. I hope I'm not too loud out there. We're trying some different things out here. Hope I'm not too loud. Hope you can hear me. 
so we're gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna let y'all get on with your weekend. This is your man DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is April. No, I'm sorry, it's not April anymore. It's May the 7th, 2021. Just remember, do some something very nice for someone other than yourself, like your mom this weekend. Shout out to all those mothers out there who are actually mothers and know the meaning of being a mother. Anybody can have a baby, but only certain people can be a mother. Like I said earlier, my Mother's Day edition of Reverence Magazine is not quite ready, so we might combine Mother's Day and Father's Day next month. I have to see how that goes. We're getting closer to the first issue this year, y'all. We're getting closer. Keep your man in prayer. Keep your man DJ TJ in prayer as I go forward, and I'm trying to get through everything, because everybody knows along with blessings comes a lot of tragic things, a lot of shortcomings and problems more money more problems y'all that's what they say right so also pray for our ministry as we move forward and try to buy our building we're gonna buy it but as we go forward there's obstacles that always arise somehow some way you know what we're saying If you don't have yourself a Bible, get yourself a Bible. If you don't have a church home, get yourself a church home and pray for one another, y'all, as we go out to this weekend. And just remember, tomorrow is never promised. So God bless you, God keep you. This is your man, DJ TJ. This was Friday Night Live. You're listening on WKTJ Reference Radio. It is May the 7th, 2021. And I'm out of here, y'all. Have a good weekend. God willing, we'll see you next time. Next week at 10 o'clock. Wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, or even if you're on YouTube, or Instagram, or Facebook, or even Twitter. Till then, y'all. We'll see you next time. Peace.